Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Where today? I'm gonna have to remember what we're doing. <laughs> I think we're doing something for Elsie. We've got a few side quests to do, I'm pretty sure. I think we need to make some minecarts and a few other various things. And we need to finish off this as well. Um, I think because I've not been here in a while, uh, and thank you all of you who sent condolences for Tally. Those of you that don't know uh, the news about that yet, uh, go and take a look at the community section and you will be able to see what's happened there. So, anyway, uh, la, 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 la. quests. Have a look through. So, we've got watching paint dry. We've got to make a tea maker for Chi. We've got to make a power cell. We've got to make dried sand acuda. For banjo. Got to make a time capsule. Got to make a saddle for Elsie. Oh, it looks like you get quite a, a purple accessory for that. Free City Commission, Fall from Grace. Fall from Grace is the one I remember that we're trying to do other quests to see if that will unlock and let me go and see. Um, so, but it's a miracle quest. I think that might be connected to. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Ernest in the sky. So that's an Ernest quest, that banjo one. Interesting. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, Heidi. Heidi's power cell, I think that is for. Uh, just has found him in an interesting situation with power down mirror bot. Yeah, so that's mirror bot stuff. So bounce back's an important one to get Grace's quest going. Um, and then I imagine that also anything to do with, I think this monster hunting for dummies for Elsie. Oh, that's only got 23 hours left. I've got to make five salted fish. Oh, we best get on with that then. That has to be done today. But it seems like I have enough stuff for making the salted fish, so we can very quickly go and do that. Uh, make two there and three there. And that will only take three minutes. Lovely. So in the meantime, what am I missing on this? Uh, compact motors and filtration cores. Let's go and have a look what we need for filtration cores. Uh, Oh, I probably started making those last time. I think I remember that. I think I remember I was... Uh, I went to the mines, but then I couldn't find the compact motors, if I remember rightly. So I can definitely get those filtration cores uh, quickly built and popped on. But I'm not going to make that the, the, the priority today. The priority is going to be that quest that might... That has 23 hours left on it. I hate timed quests. Like, um, ever since that, like, the one with Arvio, I had to redo the whole recording just because a quest timed out and I didn't see it. So, I'm glad I saw that one. Still not 100% amused by it, though. Let's have a look. Oh, and there's two things for, for... Oh, we'll take those. For Owen, high, high-level commissions, those. Ah, cool. So, oh, one's already done. Nice. Shall I go and hand that in? Because it's only a couple of minutes I've got to wait for these fish. I don't want to, uh, I want to just get that done so I don't have to worry about it. Because I am the absolute worst in the world. In the entire world. I am the worst in the world. For uh, forgetting something, going off, doing something else. Oh, look over there. I can do this. I can do that. I'm forgetting things. So. Oh, fine hot and sour fish. Tell me about it. Lovely. But also, here's your commission. Thank you. Done that quick. Here's your pay. You earned it. So that was good. So how are we doing with uh, with old Owen now? Ooh, getting there. 
And it'll finish off that heart, I reckon, the other quest. Another 41. So then we'll be just two hearts away from the top. So once you get to these really high level quests, it's very easy to start getting your levels up with people. Provided they're people that give you quests. And I'm going to start taking the quests based on who's giving them as well. A little bit anyway. Let's have a look at these uh, these fish then. Are they dried yet? Oh, uh, still got another minute. Okay. What else can I do in that minute? I'm not leaving the yard until this is done. Oh, I can make a saddle. No, I need basic leather. Okay, well, we can ride into town and get basic leather. I don't mind riding into town and riding back again to get things. I mean, I said I'm not leaving the yard, but I've already left the yard, you know. But, like, I don't want to go off to, like, the desert, for example, to get the things for Owen's other, you know, the petrified boards. Um, because I'm fairly certain I'm going to need some extra wood for that. I went straight past it. Winter solstice is coming up, and possibly the Yakmel event? Looking at the decorations around the town, so tailor-made, uh, give me three basic leathers, please. Take your 90 goals. Make a new saddle for Elsie then. That's another one of the, the quests on my list to cross off there. Not going to do any of the big things yet though. I've got things that will take my focus away. Like little things like that won't take, you know, generally won't take my focus away. Saddle. Build. Time capsule, I need a switchboard, and for the switchboard, I need a simple circuit. Oh, I know how I can get a simple circuit. You guys keep telling me that. Um, I don't actually have to go into the mines for it. I can go up here, and I can just uh, get this robot up here. I keep remembering it, and then forgetting it, and then someone in the comments will say, Why don't you get the robot? And I go, because I forgot again. But it was there. <laughs> Repeatedly you forget that that robot is there, but it gives you one simple circuit. So if you just need one, if you need two, you gotta go in the mines or wait two days. I don't, I think it respawns every day, I'm not sure actually. I haven't paid that much attention to it. But it's there often enough that I really probably should go up there and every time it's there, just grab a simple circuit off it and then I don't have to go in the mines. Okay, they are done. Salted fish is done. So you can go give that to Elsie and then I don't have to panic about timed quests. Oh, there she is. And because I've got the saddle, I can hand in both quests at once. Yay! Thanks. Hey, Elsie. All right. I reckon everything's just about ready. Gonna make that soup and find me some beasties. Okay. Yeehaw! Hey, this looks pretty good. You sure you didn't nab it from some highfalutin pro shop? So that's the saddle one. Yeah. Oh gosh, I feel all the rain clouds being chased away. I can't wait to get back out on the trail and try this thing out. Enjoy, Elsie. Here's your pay as promised. Be seeing ya. Okay, so done everything I can for Elsie. Got some good relationship. Monster hunting for dummies is complete. Right, lovely. Let's have a look at this earring she's given me then. Um... That is a big upgrade. Plus 7 to plus 15. Very nice. Okay. I figure the other accessory is already a purple, so that's probably pretty nice already. Let's pick up the delivery box. I probably haven't put my recycling on. The amount of stuff that I've not had to make because of all this recycled stuff that I always do is quite good, so... We'll just keep at that. Those are fine. Oh, I should go and check on Chi, actually, and see if, um, I, I think... I can't remember, 100%, but I think that I may have, uh, already... ...been given, uh, the... Oh, actually, not much to do today. Okay, fine. Okay, so uh, with Chi, I think I've already been given the um, the thing for the upgraded water collectors. 
so it may be that I haven't gone to see him because it comes in the post. So you don't have to go and collect it and then 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 do the next one. You have to kind of just go and do the next one. So I'm going to do that next. Lots of little tidying up bits that I'm doing this morning. But kind of worth it, hopefully. So let's get off the horse. We'll see him and just see whether there's anything. I, I may have already done this. But for the sake of 30 seconds to check. Oh no, there's still two days remaining on the Super Jew Collector. Hmm, interesting. So anyway, after that we've got the industrial grinding table. And that's all of these top ones done, all of these main ones done. Then we've just got the forge, jewellery and cooking. Yeah, we're doing pretty well with that, honestly. It's only taking me to like year three to do them all. However, they weren't all available at the start. In my defense there. Right, let's have a little look at my quests again. Let's see what I want to go and do. I could go and find Banjo because I have the fish. Wow, there's actually a lot of stuff that I'm clearing my way through today. It's going to be one of those, like, super bitty but super productive days. Hi, Banjo! Morale! <laughs> Morale to you too. Okay, so the paper is there, I can pick it up. We've got Banjo out of the way. She have that ball of paper. Can I have a look? I think it might be mine. I'm hoping I'll get some Banjo points. I want Banjo to be my pet, and I'm really not doing very well with the pets so far, so I need to work on that a lot more than I am. Ha! Huh, no, I didn't mean to litter. Sorry, I uh, dropped it out of my window in a fit of frustration earlier. My mouse always goes back to the middle, doesn't it? Thank you! It suddenly occurred to me that I'd written a particularly beautiful sentence on this piece. I'm sure it seems strange to rifle through trash, finding a single sentence. But to a writer, inspiration comes at but a moment's notice. But I couldn't remember what it was I wrote. Let me see. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. No, that's awful. That's Shakespeare, mate. That's not awful. No one would remember that. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh dear. The stars glisten with the light of a thousand lives. Oh diamond. Sorry, a diamond, an oath, a promise. This sentence, what do you think? You write really well. Ha ha, you're too kind. When I was a child, I thought stars were like diamonds. I wrote as such, and even the teacher thought my similes were beautiful. My classmates, they didn't understand. They didn't like it at all. Maybe they just hadn't seen diamonds. Hmm, perhaps. We were young at the time, after all. Ah, tea. <laughs> but I've always been in a special situation. My mother is an actor in musical theatre. Due to this, she was always adorned in fine gems and jewellery, so I had seen many of them from a young age. Since coming to Sandrock, I've uh, almost spent all of my savings. As a writer, I don't have much of an income before release. So in order to stay here writing, I need an income to supplement my daily expenses, and I, I can't just ask my family for more money. So, my wondrous, amazing kind builder, I have a request. For the sake of helping those in dire straits, eating nothing but the specials at the Blue Moon, could I ask you for a discount? Next time I need your services. Of course, but you'll owe me one. Of course. Ha, you're too kind, but no, I was joking with you. Don't worry. I'm not quite at that level yet, thankfully. I'll pay you whatever you need. I wonder if it would have been different if it had been like a romance thing, but I am not going to be romancing Ernest this time, so I don't really want to be taking the pink heart options. And yet Owen has not had any pink heart options yet. Well, today has been a lightning. Thank you so much for your inspiration, Sheilab, and also for keeping me company. But I really have to run. These articles don't write themselves, you know. Maybe eventually Owen will have those options. Because <laughs> they're coming up really fast, thick and fast for people like Arvio and people like Ernest. And, and, and Owen is just not getting any love. Um, early middle character content with him. So, for example, Ernest. Still early middle as well, so I don't know. Like, and he's not even on three hearts. He's just my buddy, and he's already getting, like, little romance options. And my good friend Owen. 
Guess no romance options. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. See, and the idea always was that, like, everybody would be romanceable, um, I think, if they got certain Kickstarter goals or something. But I'm sure there's going to be some people that never will be, like, obviously the animals you can't romance, and probably, like, Pebbles and Andy, that would just be wrong. So I figure that, like, all, all, all the adult characters, like, if maybe if you wanted to romance Zeke, for example, but then, like, the married ones, I mean, more, maybe, because, like, his his wife died but like coop who would want to like imagine if you dated coop and then he like split up with martha and you broke up elsie's family who would do that <laughs> i mean maybe if they were in love i don't know but yeah anyway <laughs> yeah. but um as far as i'm aware owen is single and has no um it's completely romanceable. Has hearts and everything, so should be fine. Lightning, what are you doing? What are you even doing? Thinking you're thinking about romance too, okay. So we could go and talk to Unsure next, maybe? Seems as we're going through our little side quests and things. So Unsure is over this way. Face serious consequences. But I'm gonna, I think I'm going to write myself a list of, like, I'm getting there really well with the social for certain characters, and there's other characters that just don't have the same um, speed of, like, getting to know them. Oh, I've gone too far. I've gone too far. No, no, no. And so those characters, I might need to give them a little more help. Um, I think some of the Hulu brothers, for example, in Portia, I really needed help with them. They, they were difficult to get to know. Right, let's go and see Unsure. Whew, nice work. The hardest part is behind us. Why do I get the feeling that that missed a bit? First, some music to set the mood. He didn't even say hello. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. First, some music to set the mood. So we've got the now jukebox. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy the show. Oh no, we've got two musics at the same time again. Ah! Quite jazzy, uh, the watching paint dry music though. You mean watching paint dry? Yep, you've heard the stories. But did you ever think you'd really be living it? Watching paint dry. I think Unsure is like actually the most boring person in sound. He's like, he's like, Almost interesting in how boring he is. I like rocks and yellow soup and watching paint dry. <laughs> that is a shame there's two musics at once because that music is a bop, but can't enjoy it when there's another music going in the background as well. Oh. Okay. All right, so now we've got to actually wait for the paint to dry. All right, then. But for a beginner, you might want to focus on a point. Remember the paint. Close your eyes for about 10 minutes. Then when you open them, you'll definitely see the difference. Oh. So I could just stand there closed with my eyes closed for 10 minutes, which will feel like two hours because I'm doing nothing. Looks like the paint is dry. Oh, it's, that was quick. Well, that was a quick you know 10 what minutes. they say, nothing good can last forever. They knew I'd get too bored waiting a full 10 minutes. Your calm meditation with Unsure, watching paint dry, has cleared your mind and given you a stronger sense of purpose. Luck increased by 20 for 24 hours. Did you enjoy yourself? My favorite part was when the paint dried. Was it? Oh well, my goodness. I'm beat. That was more than enough excitement for one day. I'll catch you later. All right, so so we should just go to bed now because that was the highlight of our day. Because that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to bed at four o'clock in the afternoon. A hearty meaty dish. It smells really good. The guy can cook, apparently. All right, so that was uh, the highlight of my day, as I said. 
But that's another one off the list of quests. So I should actually look and see if I've got any more points. We could make the Express Tea Maker. Power Cell. Mysterious Box. Oh yeah, I've got the stuff for the Mysterious Box. Shall we go make the Mysterious Box? I do need to do that commission as well. But I've got to go to the mines for that. Mm, or maybe I will. Maybe I'll go to the mines. We need to go and get two compact motors. Um, fastest way from here to the mines is probably actually just to ride across the bridge. Thinking about it. We're already kind of halfway there. So we'll go get two compact motors and then I will also make Nian's time capsule box. So we might hand that into her tomorrow. Got so many little bits to do. So we did, um, I'm just going to check it again, sorry, because I, I want to. Oh yeah, while I'm here I should get the boards, the wood for the boards as well. And we're also looking for Bogan Jack to reappear. Let's check and see if there's anything like about him in the desert there. No, I don't think so. He might be over there though, as well. And then there's something going on there. Oh, the cable guy thing. Okay, well I can see if that will decide to pop up at some point too. Alright, so let's cut down a couple of petrified trees and see if we can find the motors. And by then, probably it will be the end of the day. I'm going to su suppose. But the next thing I think we really need to work on um, as a priority tomorrow, because we did all of Elsie's quests. So we need to do the quest for the mirror bot tomorrow as well. Because we really do want to try and get towards Grace's quest. But I don't think that cutscene should have kicked in with Grace throwing the paper until I'd done all of those quests. Something, something's a little bit um, wrong with that and it needs patching up, but I think they know about it. I think they know that that quest is a bit messed up at the moment. But I'm just hoping it hasn't completely spoiled it. Because if it has, I've got a lot of work to do to catch it up. But we, we shall see. Hang on, will that be enough? Uh, actually, if I track the quest, I think it'll tell me if I've got enough wood for it, won't it? So that would be the sensible thing to do. Just in case I need another tree. So it's that one. Uh, track. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of petrified wood. Perfect. I may even have actually had enough anyway, but since as I was down here, it never hurts to get some more, does it, when the tree is right there. Um, so, motors from seven onwards we get motors. So let's reset it and pop in and see if I can get a couple of motors by the end of the day. And then I can finish my two commissions. I can start taking commissions like more regularly. Because they're so good for money, to be fair. All right, microchip, dancing statue, dancing statue, microchip, statue, microchip. Good, good thing I'm in here wanting microchips, isn't it? And not, you know, something else like an engine. Grr. Oh, uh, now we're in this bit with all the horrible... Alright, what's that? A microchip! How wonderful. I will probably electrocute myself a few times doing this. But I can never find the exits. <laughs> then again, do I need to? I can just go to the next level. Because <laughs> why not? 
Let's see if this is any more uh, useful. What's that? A hydraulic rod. Well, that's not very useful. An advanced toolbox. Is there a possibility that that will have an engine in it? <coughs> Worth a try. Um, hmm? Where did it go? Oh, man. It's going to take me the rest of my life to find it. Oh, there we are. Basic toolbox. Uh, advanced toolbox? Where's it gone? That wasn't a basic one I picked up. It was an advanced one. Hello? I have got too much stuff in here, I am aware. <laughs> Uh, maybe it was a basic one I picked up. Oh well, can't find it. Moving on. Another advanced toolbox. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have a stack of them somewhere. I just can't see it. Ah, oh, there they are. All right, okay. Microchip. More microchips. Today, it seems like the mine wants to give us microchips. And not engines. Right, there's two more toolboxes here. So you never know, might get lucky, might not. Roll in the dice here. Roll in those dice. So, microchip. Compact motor, one out of two. A few bits around here, so maybe one of those will be, yay! More advanced toolboxes and compact motors. So let's just. Grab those. And let me guess that in the uh, toolboxes, there'll be another motor now. I'll have extras. You watch. Now I don't need them. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. This is just my life today. Although I did manage, like, I, I hope there's nothing else wrong, but like, um, I got onto the computer today and then I was like, okay, let's just check everything. And, and I was in a reasonably calm, okay mood. And then I was like, I looked at my OBS and I was like, the mic isn't working on there, but I managed to catch it before I started recording. So I was really pleased with that. So I really hope that everything else is recording okay. And I don't have to scrap this for any reason because it's a good episode so far. Uh, I think I just want to go home, don't I? Yeah. Boop. But yeah, it's one of these days where I think if I hadn't been as calm, then I would have done the whole episode, not realised that the mic wasn't working because of the Windows update. And then had a really bad day, but I'm, I'm fingers crossed that I'm just about coping with it, and I've just about managed to to save that situation. Because I feel horrible when that happens, I really do, especially after such a long time not recording because of, you know, because of portal. We've got a, we've got her a lovely. A lovely um, urn, and so she's sitting by her sister now. Okay, so we got the concentrated algae apparatus done. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to hand that in today. And also, we can do the time capsule. We'll make the switchboard, make the time capsule. 
Um, and then I need white copper. Now, I th uh, that for the power cell, I think that the white copper for the power cell is going to need to come from the mole mine, if I'm thinking right. So, I think we may need to get on with those mine carts as soon as possible so that we can get the stuff we need there. Right, let's head to bed, I think. I th unless there's anything else we can do, let's just very quickly check, because I've got another couple of hours until I need to go to bed, so... Um, oh, I know, let's put the boards on so we can pick those up in the morning. Just try and get everything, like, ready for the morning, basically. So that's that one done. What other missions do we have? Uh, so we've done that one. That one we can't do yet. Fall from Grace. Waiting for the news on that. We're waiting for Bogan Jack. And we need to construct the minecart. Now, I think we, we, we needed to wait for the assembly table to be free so we could construct the minecart so we could construct the power cell and get the white copper. I think that's what's like kind of been holding things up. So that's fantastic. Uh, let's see. Be under other probably wouldn't it minecart 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 assemble we have the bearings for it wonderful we have the chromium bars for it we have the aluminium alloy plates for it hey it's done nice i think that is probably as much prep as we're going to be able to do now so unless we do the tea maker we could start the tea maker let's see what we need for that I'm on a roll tonight, aren't I? Express tea maker, assemble. What we need for that? Microchips, got them. Steel bars, got them. Plastic shells, got them. See, this is all the recycling. And I've got that one too. Look at me go. Look at me go. And that'll be three commissions done as well. And we're past midnight, but I'm allowed to stay up to one now because of my points. I did say I would look at the points system as well. Oh, I've done so much stuff. I'm so happy with myself. Right. <laughs> Fight around the world. Mission updated. It's the winter solstice today. What? But I've got all these cool things to hand in. Rise and shine. Dang, you rise late. I've been waiting forever. Almost ten minutes now. Ten minutes is a long time to wait when you're watching paint dry, right? <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. Come on. I brought Lil Vel. We're going riding. Hey, let's go. Well, saddle up and let's get a move on. I'm fixing to take you to my favorite spot. Okay. At the end of the day, if we miss the winter solstice because of this, I don't mind so much because we've done it twice already. Come on, Lil Bell. Let's giddy up. Yeah. Lil Bell, such a cute name. Why am I driving? <laughs> We're flying now. Oh, Lil Bell, it's that away. Which way? I don't even know. Is it here? Take a gander. I sometimes ride out here for my morning cattle herding. Take a deep breath, soak it all in. We're above all the dust and gunk, so the air is extra fresh. Plus, the view ain't nothing to sneeze at, neither. Ah, yeah, that's the good stuff. What's your take, partner? Feeling inspired? Humbled by the vastness of the great outdoors? I'm gonna say it's amazing. Ain't it, though? Being up here kind of puts things into perspective, don't it? We're all like specks of dust blowing in the wind and whatnot. Oh, <laughs> having like a bit of a feeling of how small in the world you are, Elsie. Yes, definitely. I sometimes get that when I'm like looking at the sky or the stars. That particularly makes me feel small. Well, ain't getting any younger. You're like 12, Elsie. <laughs> no, she's a bit older than that, but... Woo! Where are we Bell's going now? Yeah! Get up! Come on, fast! 
Let's do wow. it. Little bell so fast. She seems to have some some directional problems though. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be able to go in a straight line. Luckily, she stops before she goes off the edges of all these cliffs. My goodness. This is a cool tour. Yeah! That's my favorite running spot. I like to bring Belle out here and just gun it down that hill. Hands tied on the reins, wind in my hair. Here's pretty much the only spot I feel like I'm anywhere but inside city lines. And it's the furthest my folks will let me go. They think I'm still a kid. Because you are. <laughs> but when the sun sets out here at my spot, I'm whoever I want to be. Whether I'm hoofing it or riding like the wind, out here, nobody can tell me what to do. I'm a bird, wild and free. Birds don't ride horses, Elsie. But my pa doesn't even want me out this far. <laughs> He's always saying I gotta be more ladylike, which is just code for boring. I'm a legal adult. I know how to take care of myself, but they still treat me like some baby yak mail. Yeah, well, he just wants you to, like, have a, a nice life, Elsie. But you gotta be you as well. One of these days, though, push is gonna come to shove, and I reckon I'm gonna have to... Say, wanna hear a secret? Yeah! I've got a treasure box hidden nearby. I'm quietly saving up, storing away a few goals here and there. Then, before you know it, whoosh! I'll be buying the first ticket out of this one yak town. Like I said, free as a bird. We'll miss you in Sandra. Oh, shucks. I'd miss you and me and all the critters around here, but I'd come back and visit. And hey, you gotta come visit me too. Ain't fair to put the burden all on me now, is it? Uh, but you're the one that decided to leave. Say, I tell you what, Cowpoke. I hereby issue a challenge. See if you can find my treasure chest. I'd consider it a favor whether you found it or not. If any you did, that means I didn't hide it good enough. True. And maybe Andy would find it, because he's quite good at finding stuff like that. You're all right for a city slicker. And a staunch companion. Real true blue. I feel like I can tell you anything. Anyway, I gotta get home. You wanna ride back to town? Yeah, I'll go back with you. Um, We do have a festival technically to do. And I've not done anything all with right. it. At your workshop already? Let's hang again soon, huh? See ya! So hopefully I've just got a quest to go find the... Uh... Uh... Oh no, I didn't have... Okay. Anything to find her chest, but we can try. Uh, from Yan. Uh, it is of the utmost importance that I remind you of this year's annual Commerce Guild Award Ceremony tomorrow. You might be thinking there's no way I can win Workshop of the Year with that Yan guy in the field. Might as well stay at home. Well, attendance is mandatory. I think I'm ahead. Uh, so, the winter solstice is a time to say farewell to the old and how do you to the new. There are plenty of wonderful activities to start, uh, sorry, to take part in. At 2, there's a barbecue uh, next to the Blue Moon Saloon. At 7 o'clock, there's a bonfire dance. And at 10, there's fireworks and a countdown to the new year. Nice! Nia replied, you climbed a cliff with your bare hands, climbing trees when you were really young. Paid off, huh? Two Nia relationships. Nice. Marge replied, that's the spirit. You've really become such a professional in your relatively short stay in Sandrock. You've met a lot of obstacles along the way, but you always come up out on top in the end. I've actually been thinking of doing a bit of travelling. We wanted to visit you and do a little tour of the three cities, but the easiest place to go from Sandrock has been Atara for all these years, and your pa doesn't want to go there. He thinks they're all too stuck up. Everyone was nice to me when I travelled to Atara, but I guess one bad experience can sour a place for someone. Oh well, Porsche, here we come. Then we can take a boat to Vega 5. Should be great if we can just get some time off over here, which could be tricky. Let's hope for the best. Love you lots, Ma. So I'm hoping my Ma will show up at some point, because that would be really cute. Right, so we're only at 7 in the morning, which is wonderful. So I, I can still run around and do a few of my bits and pieces. Um, I've got to be careful which ones I do, though. Because some of them might trigger stuff, and then it's going to mess up the festival stuff. But the commissions, definitely, I can hand in. 
Like, they will definitely not mess anything up. So let's go find Yan and hand that commission in and then just try and make sure. And also the commissions will make sure that I get the, uh, oh look the bonfires there. Uh, we'll make sure that I get lots of points so that I can win tomorrow. <laughs> it's nice to give you a reminder of that. Let's have a look. Workshop rankings, me like well ahead right now. Fantastic. Yan is nowhere to be seen. Darn. <laughs> I need him to hand the thing into. I can try and do is see if this will work now. No, it's still not working. I'll keep running through there. It might be that I have to be there at a specific time or something, or or it might not work on festival days, or I, I really don't know. Don't stray too far oh, there he is. Remember, plenty of our hmm. I, you, her, where am I? Mommy? Ah. Well, that's great. He seems really disoriented, but I have to hand in a thing to him. Maybe when he sits at his desk, I can. Ah. Well, that's super annoying. I would be so irritated if I couldn't hand that into him because the game has decided to be stupid. Uh. Is there any other way I can hand in a city free cities commission? Well, I've still got a few days where I can hand that in, I guess. Let's hand in the one to, uh... What's going on? Why is there, like, a, a weird sound every time I go through a door? I'll chat to the meerkat. Um, okay, so... Where's Owen, then? Well, at least I think I've still got a few days for that commission. Yeah, six days. So maybe uh, maybe after today he'll be more able to talk to me. I don't know. Okay, oh, we're just round here. A key element of the celebration it's the bonfire dance. You won workshop of the year. That's incredible. You beat out that. your boss and he's been in the biz forever. I'm sure he took it well being an old head and all. In fact, I bet he's real proud of you. The bonfire dance was first started by our founder, Martle. During that first winter here in Sand Rock, it was bitterly cold. The people that settled here wanted to move on. On New Year's Eve, Martle started a fire in the middle of their camp and brought out all the best of her food stores and started cooking. Soon, everyone joined in. After everyone had a hearty meal, they started dancing around the fire. It's been a tradition ever since. Martle had wanted everyone to know what the Sand Rock Spirit is all about, which is to come together and help each other in the time of need. She also wanted everyone to look to a new year with hope and confidence. Because everything will be better. And she was right. Today is a day when we say goodbye to the old and give the new year a big sand rock howdy. Are we done? 
Okay. In the past year, no. everyone in Sandrock has no, gone through done. a lot and learned a lot. So please, take some time. Enjoy today's activities. Eat great food. Watch fireworks. And let's welcome the new year with that sand finally. I would like to say to everyone... You would like to say to everyone... Happy Winter Yay. Solstice and Happy New Year! There are some very big gaps between the things that she says there. Right, I'm just going to go get the boards for Owen. I can't hand that thing in to Yan. Yan seems extremely confused. Is he even drugged or something? I don't understand what's up with him at all. Right, so I need to pick the boards up, which is why I couldn't hand them in. I just realised. Um, that was pretty cool, though. Like, the uh, the idea that it was Martel's, you know, everyone got here and... and like all of these traditions that are to do with them moving to the desert and, and and the hardships that they faced when they did move to the desert and, and all that. It was really cool. I like it anyway. And I like listening to Matilda as much as like I kept thinking she was finished and she hadn't. But I do enjoy listening to those stories. Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, we didn't quite go up a, a level with him, I don't think. Maybe if I give him some Yakmel milk, he likes that. Welcome everyone to Sand Rock's Winter Solstice Celebration. Mm. Maybe he'd like a fish. No, maybe he'd, you know, Yakmel milk, there we are. A key element of the celebration is the bonfire dance. I want to expand a bit on that. She's going to go through it again, I think, what she just said. The bonfire dance was first started by our founder. Oh, yeah, Martin. we've heard all of that now. During that first winter here in Sand Rock, Let's have a little... Bitter. I'm going to actually go away from her making that big speech because we've already heard most of it. Um, and just... So, I could give Chi his tea. That probably wouldn't... Probably wouldn't start anything particular. Uh, fighting around the world, we've got to go and defeat Bogan Jack once more, but uh, I don't really want to go and do that right now. We can't talk to Yan at the moment. The minecarts is probably going to be its own big thing. Can't do that until we've done the minecarts, I don't think. We can't get white copper yet. So yeah, it's Chi and, and, and uh, Mian, really. I might give Mian her box. Martel started a fire in the middle of their camp. Uh -huh. and all the best Meet the of new box. Same as the old box. Started. Or just as sturdy, at least. Well done. I'll bet this thing Didn't would last a thousand years, you overachiever, you. After I've got my stuff. Are you meal. ready to go bury the they box? Just give me your personal item and I'll put it in. Hey, I heard from Musa that you'll be handling the rest of the road to Forge Up Project's work. What the That's Sandrock awesome. Spirit is all about, which is to come together and help Thanks, each I'm other excited. in the time of Yeah, you're gonna rock it. <laughs> she also wanted everyone get it? to look to a Smashing new rock. Dumpy, get out the way. I'll be holding because down the fort while you're handling all the big stuff. Any routine repairs, right. low priority commissions, I'll handle all of that today so you can focus on what's important. Thanks, Mian. Let's do our best. And give the new year a big sand rock okay. howdy. So I've got another stage to the to the mysterious box mission now, so I need to find myself uh, a a nice item to put in the capsule. So maybe um oh, something especially something personal. It's probably not something like Yak's milk. <laughs> Probably a nice ornament or something. I'll have to think about that one, I think. Um, and the tea maker. In the past year, everyone in Sandrock has gone through a lot and learned. It's nearly a lot. time for the barbecue, though, so I don't know if we'll be able to do that one. Uh, let me just track it quickly. some time enjoy today's activities eat great food watch fire
I'm guessing he's down there then. Finally. Oh, that's Yan. Ah. Yeah, Yan is still struggling, okay. Wandering around very randomly. And Barbecue! Go and get a grill going. Okay. How? Oh, there's one. Can, can I do anything with the grills? Start barbecue. Cook all the town folk favorite food. And choose all the ingredients you want to skewer. Uh, one skewer can hold up to four squares of ingredients with each taking up a different number of squares. Don't forget to add seasoning. Pay attention to what the people in the town want and season according to their tastes. Once you prepare the ingredients and seasoning, start grilling. Uh, try and keep it in the green. Okay. Press and hold the corresponding button. Well, we shall try. This is new, so. Meat. And potato. And original seasoning. Salted fish. Salty seasoning. Mm. Rib and mushroom. I know. Rib and spicy. Potato and sandacuda. And meat. Potato and meat. And original seasoning. No, can't do that. You can't fit much on egg and salted fish. No, egg and potato. The original seasoning. Rib meat and original seasoning. Salty seasoning. Okay. Start barbecue. Perfect! I got 15 festival badges and people seemed to enjoy the food I made. Lovely! Owen's making some, Crystal's making some, looks like I think Cooper's making some and Vivi's making some. Nice, that was cool. I liked that. That was a cute way of getting some like festival badges. I don't know what I can get with the festival badges. You can usually check that out at Town Hall, get some items. In fact, let's have a look here. So we can get a sticker of memories, winter solstice, Yakmel doll. You can get a round lantern. I've forgotten what it was a barbecue, wasn't it? And a bonfire and then fireworks. The bonfire's at seven. So I've probably got time to try and find Chi in the meantime. He's at the research centre. So if I just jump on lightning, we could probably give him the tea maker in between. Being very efficient right now. I don't know why he doesn't want to be part of this festival, though. Uh, is he downstairs? Did I miss him? Hello! Thank goodness it's here. Let's see the result. The taste is wonderful. I feel brain caffeinated. Concentration maxed out. Work engaged. Go on then, Chi. Well done. Now, uh, where was I? Ah, satellite analysis. It's like calculating elliptical movements using integrals. Cancel out this, introduce auxiliary variables, then plug it into this formula. So the integral constant here is also the time where it passes periastron. The vector expression of the spacecraft is the same as the elliptical trajectory. That is to say... 
It's coming right here. Aha. Uh, you must be fascinated too. How selfish of me to keep all this beautiful science to myself. Come, take a look. Well, to learn about artificial about satellites, we need to start from the beginning. Satellites, nature's companion. Many think that a satellite is simply something <laughs> revolving around another. Well, is a planet a satellite? But then would a binary system be a satellite? Technically, yes. Well, Technically, also, yes. it is still yes. an important question. Ah, but then there are meteorites, moons, asteroids, even old world space trash. Space trash. Fascinating, truly. I mean, a moon counts as a satellite, so why wouldn't a, ca a planet count as a satellite to a star? I see. I don't see why not. Um, uh, sorry, sorry. My mind is wandering. So many thoughts, ideas, hypotheses. If you don't mind, I'll tell you about it another time. Hmm. I can't seem to find my journal. Forget it, forget it. I'll start another one. But my research. The acceleration caused by solar wind, surface to mass ratio. She seems completely absorbed in his work. It's probably best not to disturb him. Should I help him find his journal, though? Yeah. But yeah, I'm super surprised that it didn't give me a quest or something so that I could find, uh... Is that his journal? Yes. Cheese journal is a thick journal dating back 10 years. The most recent pages are scribbled and hardly legible. There are drawings. Is this a robot fighting a geekler? It must be a study of some sort. Or two hours before the bonfire dance. But yeah, um... I'm surprised that it didn't give me a quest to find the chest for Elsie. I would have other I would have stayed and found it otherwise, but I was really worried that I would run out of time to do the uh, festival stuff otherwise. My journal! Where did you find it? So much of my research is now returned. You literally left it in your room, mate. <laughs> Gotta love academics. Thank you. I highly appreciate it. Bye. Give me 800 goals just for finding his, like, stupid journal. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I think Mian might have just eaten one of my skewers. Still picking away at that barbecue. Okay. So, in terms of my quest, I don't think I need to have a uh, Fall from Grace tracked. And we're definitely looking a lot better now. Um, Minecarts we'll do next time. I'll keep trying to give that to Yan for the next few days. And I'll take two quests around it. Um, I should win the... I should win the, uh, the commission competition anyway. And I'm just going to think about an item for the time capsule. That's the sort of thing though. Oh, you can eat barbecue, can you? But you don't, still don't know where you are. I'm going to hand that in. Wow, how'd you become Builder of the Year anyway? Build the most stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, guess that makes sense. Good on you, Builder. Congrats on building all that uh, stuff. Why is everyone commenting on Builder of the Year when I haven't actually, they haven't actually done the award ceremony yet? Need to, they need to change that. Over already? I'm still starving. Avio. People apparently... Imp oh, I can barbecue more, apparently, once they've finished eating it. I'm not gonna. But I wanna... I wanna go dancing, but uh, I'll have to remember that next time. Can I get something now? Like, how many... Oh, do you just get general festival tokens? Not individual ones for each thing? That's interesting. So I could get the uh, Day of Memories suit. It looks really cute, actually. Like Yakmel balloons. The day of the bright sun blimp model. That is nice because uh, I I did find that having like loads of tokens 
for each festival was a bit much. So I think it is nice. And also it means that you can get the things for a festival even if you're bad at a certain one. Like if you're really terrible at the Day of Memories um, chasing thing and hiding thing, hide and seek thing, then you can just get festival tokens at something else. So yeah, I, like, I quite like that. Uh, like 15 seconds to wait. <laughs> I think when I go into things like stores, um, it doesn't progress the time. And it has been quite a long episode, this one, because I've done so many quests and things. It's time for the barbecue and bonfire. What do we have to do? Bonfire dance! May I have this dance? Dance around the fire with the townsfolk. I love that I'm like dancing with my pick hammer. My new love. All I ever need in my life. It's pretty much, yeah, it probably is like my best friend. <laughs> Cooper's doing some dancing. Hugo's doing some dancing. Katori is doing some dancing. Miana's around there somewhere. She's kind of behind the fire, I think. Oh no, Mian's there. Hugo, Katori, Justice and Cooper. Got a little bit of uh, friendship with all of them for doing that, for dancing around the fire with them. Over already, I'm still starving. Two hours till the fireworks now. The more dancing I do, the more time, the more, the more, uh, Friendship I'm getting. Oh, look, everyone's joining now. That's so cool. I don't really know what this dance is. It's the clap your hands and turn around dance, I think. Except when you got a pick hammer in your hand, it's a bit, a bit of an interesting one. But I'm liking that these festivals are actually properly starting. Oh, it's just me and Arvio left. How do I stop? There we are. Done. I'm going to very quickly go and sort my inventory out. Just because I need something to do for two hours. I think it starts at ten, so we've got an hour. Because that was really annoying me. Um... For some reason I've got old jeans there. I think they might need recycling or something, but I'm not sure. Yellow lavender probably needs to go into medicine. I'll keep the fish and stuff on me. They're quite useful. Bloodstone needs to go into gems. Got a lovely seashell. Sailor's Horn, which is Gecko Station. Ruins. The artifacts two. It's you Fowler. Artifacts one. Gecko. Not done much with the artifacts lately, though. I also got uh, quite a few bits of furniture and paintings and stuff like that to put up. But other than that, we're quite good, so I'm not going to worry too much about doing much more sorting. I just wanted to get the worst of it out of there. Whee! But yeah, I'm still not entirely sure what I want to give me and to put in the box. That is something I could have a quick look at if I wanted to. Is there anything that's in my inventory right now that I could give? I could give an iron pick hammer because I've got a chromium one that I use all the time at the moment. And that would be pretty personal. That's like, like I was saying, my pick hammer is kind of my, my thing. That might be a good idea actually. 
I'm gonna give that to Mian now. No, I'm not. I'm gonna give that to her later. But I think I've decided. I think I've got enough to do today. Are they all waiting for me to barbecue? No, we've only got like six minutes until the fireworks. So, no. No barbecuing now. Where are they? Yay! Fireworks! This is just like um, bonfire night in Britain. Get a bonfire and fireworks. Oh, I'm not seeing them all. There's one over there. I need to be further back so I can see them better. Couple there. <laughs> people got I never bought too much here's a good place to be like near the fireworks lovely there's loads of them and they're all way back there as well they're all around i guess so that you can't really miss them the nicest ones seem to be over there though hi there wow more Where's the ceremony for regular shop of the year? This is a tragic, tra sorry, a travesty. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Yay, the Yakamel and snowflakes and stuff. Oh, that's so cute. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. I don't care if I get dark eyes tomorrow from this. It's so pretty. I don't know when it's going to be over. There we are. It's getting late. You should rest. So it lets you get to one o'clock in the morning before it finishes. And then everybody's tired the next day. Start the new year. Tired. I'm staying up late. Pretty much sounds right, to be honest. So, that was a bit long, but uh, I think next time we will be doing uh, the minecarts, and I'll try and get the power cell stuff done, uh, minecarts and power cell, if I can, if they'll let me in the mine and let me mine white copper and stuff, which I'm hoping the minecarts will open up for me, I don't know, uh, but we'll need to go over to the mole mines and just check it all out and see, see what I can find down there. Then try and get the mirror bot up and running, which I'm hoping alongside... I think Elsie's quest might lead to the giant duck. That's as much as I know so far. Uh, I don't know what the giant duck is. I just know there will at some point be some kind of giant duck. So hopefully that's not too spoilery. But anyway. The fireworks are done. Let's go to sleep. And that's what we're going to be doing next time. And hopefully getting towards Grace's quest. So there we are. All done. And thank you very much. Oh, the Commerce Guild Award Ceremony. Do not forget. I will be heading along there shortly. But uh, in the meantime, 
I will let you guys go. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.